What's going on guys? So in today's video, we're going to be talking about this shark ion that is not charging and what the possibilities it can be and what it actually ends up being. So stay tuned. So like I previously mentioned, this is a shark ion series robot vacuum, a 761 to be exact. This method will work for troubleshooting your shark ion, shark IQ, shark AI, and so forth. Most sharks are identical, old and new, when it comes to troubleshooting your battery having issues charging. So the first thing we want to talk about, is there any power at all? If you have power like this blinking, it's a different scenario than if you have no power at all. If you have no power at all, here's what you need to do. First, you need to come over here and make sure that the on button on your robot is turned on. 90% of time, the button has been switched off because it went by a couch or something that was perfect height to flip that switch. It literally is, it's not hard for something to barely touch it. And when it starts going, it goes. So, if that is not working, we need to check our charger. So, say it's at it, it it's trying to find a charging dock and it can't find a charging dock or it died trying to find it. Well, first thing, make sure it's plugged in. I know that sounds crazy, but kids, animals will love to unplug stuff. Next, green power light or blue power light, depending on what model you have. Most of them are going to be green. This also applies to the base stations. The base stations are the big ones that have the vacuum system inside of them. Next, contacts. These contacts are going to interact with these contacts, allowing it to charge. What we got to make sure is there's no film built up on these pads. This is a huge problem with Roombas and D-Bots, is that there's a film or something that builds up on them, and then they just don't want to charge. Once you clean it, they're good to go. With those being, you want to manually set the robot on there until you hear it start charging, which is about a finger thickness away. So, perfectly center, finger distance away. If you have a glass table, put the charger on a glass table, get underneath it, and you'll be able to learn how to line it up a little bit better. I've also seen people put reference marks on their robot to make sure that it's aligned. Just saying, there's several different things. Next, is your robot, so did it charge? If it did not charge from there, you're going to continue with these steps next. So the steps for it flashing one and the steps for it being completely dead at this point are going to be the same. So we have one flashing light or no, no lights at all. Okay, we've checked the switch, we've checked the charger, we've checked the base. We, we know all that's good. Let's flip it over, make sure you turn it off. So flip the power switch and we're gonna open up the battery cover. It's a Phillips head screwdriver. You're gonna need long shaft T, well, Torx in general to work on anything on this besides the battery. The battery is the only thing that takes Phillips. So here we've taken a battery cover off. You might have one or you might have two. Depends on the model and depends on the year. We're going to pull up on the tab to reveal the battery connection. Reach your finger in here and try to pinch it. If you can't pinch it, do this. You're going to pull the cable and it, you'll, you'll get a feel for it. Barely pry on it and it'll pop out. There's a little tab right here that you got to flick. Now reseed it. You'd be surprised at how many times reseeding it will actually fix it. We're going to go ahead and go to the next scenario. We tried reseeding it. It didn't work. I can tell that this battery is actually going bad because it's very swollen internally. So I'm chunking that one anyway. And I've got a new battery right here. I have new refurbished and new used batteries um, on my eBay store. So... If you need a battery, Smitty's World 2015 at Gmail. Um, also, any other parts, message me for questions. If you have questions, comment first, though. 
So let's go ahead and install this new battery. There's several different colors and variants of these batteries, but they're generally the same. You just want to make sure that the input voltage is somewhere around 14 and a half to 15. And the higher the capacity, the better. But the RV Bat 850 batteries are going to be what you find in IQs, IONS, 1000 series, 800 series. It, they're very common. Now let's reinstall the battery. So there's a trick to it as well if you have bigger hands. Um, you can, I got to do this right handed. You can take it, line it up just like that and put your finger and just push right down. Turn the battery, make sure the tabs are up just like that. Push the wire in, put the cover back on, flip the power switch and you'll hear it if there's power. If there's no power from a brand new battery, you could have an issue with the robot. I'll tell you that now because a lot of times batteries will have a charge on them when you get them. It's almost always the case, especially if you buy a used one. Just saying. We're going to slide it on there, and if it starts charging, wonderful. If it doesn't start charging, we've got more issues internally. We're going to have to open up the robot, and we'll dig deeper in another video on that. But th that's... Last case scenario, and if you have to get to that point, generally speaking, you're going to need a new robot. I hate to tell you that, but you're going to either replace all the wiring in it, or you're going to end up replacing the wiring and the motherboard, and the motherboard will be the issue because it does control the charging. Doesn't always go bad. It's very rare. Batteries are pretty common because these units are starting to reach five, six years old for some of them. And if you've ever ran over dog, uh, dog, cat, rabbit, turds, pee, whatever, if it's urine-based, almost guarantee you, you should just throw the robot away. Dog and cat feces or poop is cleanable. It's not fun. Isopropyl alcohol, take the battery out. Isopropyl alcohol, 91% clean a robot. But if your robot has ran over any time, kind of a urine, just go ahead and throw the robot away. Urine is very corrosive. It will corrode the motherboards. It will corrode the charging pads. It will corrode your charger. It, it will corrode everything. Honestly, if you have a urine accident that you run your robot through and you don't clean it within an hour with 91% isopropyl alcohol, super good. I mean, tear the whole robot down, wheels, everything, clean everything and let it dry in the sun immediately. You might as well throw your robot away because I, I guarantee within six months, it's probably going to die permanently. So just be aware of that guys. If you have any questions regarding your shark Ion, IQ, AI, whatever it may be, go ahead and comment below. I'm working as fast as I can to try to get to the comments on videos now, trying to catch back up because I did take a while off of YouTube to go to TikTok. So make sure you follow me on TikTok at Smitty's World and on YouTube at Smitty's World as well. So I'm not sure where you're watching this video at right now. Thanks for watching, guys.